Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn to solve a Ken Ken puzzle. This is a 5 by 5 Now let's get on to the 5 by 5 And the first thing I do, if you've seen my other video, is you know that I write down the numbers on a piece of paper, and it's good because it allows me to look at the numbers and in my head do multiplication. They start by putting the simple ones here, 1, and this is obviously a simple one here, a 2, and this is another simple one here, a 1. Now the next thing that I like to do is I always like to tackle the big ones first. So I like to look at, say, 100 times, and because I realize something times something times something is going to have to reach 100. And that's why it's so good to have these numbers, because I get to look at them and work out the combinations. So let's talk about all the combinations that give us 100, using 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the truth is, there really is only one way to get to 100. And that is 5 times 5, which is 25, times 4. There's no other combination using 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 only that gets you to 100. So therefore, if we know that two of these have to be 5, and one of these has to be 4, this must be the 5, and that must be the 5, and that must be the 4. Now let's move ahead to the 60. Again, looking at our numbers 1 through 5, how many ways can we come up to 60? Now there is one extra wrinkle here, which is because we have a 2 here, if we were to use a 2, it could be here, but we can't use 2 twice. And the same thing with 1. We can't, these can't be 1, but this can, but it just means that we can't use 1 twice. So let's think about the combinations that give us 60. And the answer I can come up with is 5 times 4 times 3. That equals 60. And there's no other way to come up to a 60. So this space here needs to be either a 3, a 4, or a 5. So I'm putting in the pencil marks of a 3, 4, and five. So let's continue on with pencil marks. Up here we have a division, and it's something divided by something equals two. And there's only really two combinations when you think about one through five, since you can't have a remainder to come up with two. And that's gonna be four divided by two, or two divided by one. So, one, so either of these are a four and a two, or these are a two and a one. But there's a one here already. So therefore, this must be a four and a two. And since there's already a two here, this one must be the four, and this one must be the two. One through five must be in a row and a column and not be overlapped, there's no choice but a 3 right there. Now since we're dealing with this here, but we also know that we can't put a 1 there and we can't put a 4 and 5 there. And we can't put a 3 there because you can't have the same number. So there really can only be one number in that spot, which is a 2. So that also makes sense and that works right there. So that brings us to this one here, this block in the middle. Something plus something plus something plus something is going to equal 15. And we know because there's a 1, 2, and 3 here, that there can only be a 4 and 5 in this square or this square. So let's go ahead and put those pencil marks in. 4 and 5 in that square and a 4 and 5 in that square. And if we're saying that the 4 total equal 15 and 4 plus 5 equals 9, therefore the two digits that have to be here need to total 6. The only digits that can total 6 is going to be a 1 and a 5 or a 4 and a 2. And because we can't have a 3 and a 3 because that would have 2, 3, in the same column, but we can't have a 2 here either, so it can't be a 4 and a 2. So therefore, the only two digits that can go here are a 1 and a 5. So I'm going to go ahead and in this one, put the 1 and the 5, and in this one, put the 1 and the 5. And remember that we can have two 5s, but they will have to be diagonally. So let's now move on to this one here. Something minus something is 2, and we already know what the two numbers need to be. Because there's a 2, 4, and 5 here, this must be a 1 and a 3. So the question is, which one of these is a 3 and which one of these is a 1? Well, I could go ahead and put in the pencil marks, but there's actually already a solution to it. Because a 1 must go here or here, there's no way the 1 can go here. So therefore, this must be the 1 and that must be the 3. So let's continue on with this puzzle. Again, we have a situation with this and we have a 5 here and a 4 here. And like before, it's either a 4 and a 2 or a 2 and a 1, but it can't be a 4. It's got to be a 2 and a 1 and there's already a 1 here. So we can go ahead and solve that. And then that allows us to fill in this spot very easily. And by doing that, we've answered this one here. Only a 5 can go there. And we can follow that through. 1, 2, that has to be a 4. And now we can easily solve these bottom ones. That has to be a 3. That has to be a 2. Keep going. We're going to make it harder in the next one. We're going to do a 6 by 6. Thanks for watching.